So we're approaching frame stage here at Brighton East. And as you can see behind me, it's almost nearing completion. The roof framers are working on the top level, installing the trusses. So let's go and have a bit of a look through. So we're inside the frame and as you can see, we've got these joists running across this because it's a two-storey construction. So we use on all of our projects, the posi strut. It gives you a nice firm floor. Plus also it gives us the capability of being able to run services through the joists like heating, cooling, plumbing, without drilling any holes and compromising the structural integrity of the actual joists. So in this back area here, it's quite amazing. We've got this raking ceiling coming through here, which is created with the use of scissor trusses. And then it opens out onto this void area here, which is created using all these steel portals. So whilst it looks amazing, it's not as easy as that, because we need to really work with the drafting team as well as the engineers to make it all happen. Whilst we're doing that, we're also managing the client's budget to ensure that we're not designing and drawing something that's not going to be able to be built. Whilst the frame mightn't look that exciting for a lot of people, the quality of a build is often judged in the frame. So for example, looking at this external wall here, we space our studs at 450 centres instead of going the absolute maximum, which is 600 centres. So in a wall like this, you're going to get a lot more timber, which makes the wall stronger and less susceptible to movement. So we're in the downstairs bathroom here, and if you look at the studs behind me, you'll see that these are actually even closer together than the 450. We're down to 300 centres now, so we're trying to provide some stability to the walls in this bathroom, which are going to be fully tiled to prevent any cracking.